my name is Margaret Dupee, and I'm from the University of Ottawa. Uh, doing research with Dr. Penny Werthner um, in bio and neurofeedback training techniques for athletes. A number of uh, athletes we work with are on the freestyle ski teams, the mogul and aerials, uh, the curling team, um, the canoe kayak, to help them um, improve the management of their stress response. So what happens in their body and in their mind under stress? We make them aware of that and then train them to self-regulate. Screen, we're monitoring their breathing rate and their heart rate. And what we have the athletes to do is we have them slow their breathing down to about six breaths a minute. Um, and what happens then is we see their heart rate come in, into synchronization with their breathing rate, and that's putting the body in recovery. So we're starting to see his breathing rate and his heart rate coming into synchronization. We're starting to see a higher heart rate variability. So this tells us the body is going into recovery. This is monitoring skin conductance. So this is related to the emotional state. We're going to now have you just activate. So I want you to do some just some quick chest breathing, fast breathing, and allow yourself to deactivate. Slow the breathing down. This is the training we do to um, teach the athletes how to put their, their mind into recovery, how to shut those thoughts down, and we call it alpha training. And what we're trying to do, we do it with the eyes closed, and um, they're trying to increase that green bar or the alpha brain waves, um, which indicates that they're not doing a lot of thinking or ruminating, that they're just letting their mind uh, rest and recover. And this screen is one of the ones we use for focus training. So we want the athletes to be calm and to be able to focus both at the same time. And that you see their breathing rate as well there. They get to monitor that. So the top mouse is um, about them being calm and the bottom mouse is about staying focused. So we want both of these mice moving forward. We want them to be able to narrow that focus and remain calm. So after teaching the athlete how to get into that nice recovery state or relaxed state, and then teaching them how to focus, that narrow calm focus, we then ask them to switch states. We use this screen to develop the tool to be able to shift from that narrow focus on the task at hand to go into recovery. And with this training, we found that the athletes learn um, over a number of hours, they learn how to shift from one state to the other uh, quite effectively. And they, they tell us they use it on the hill, or they use it in the boat, they use it at the curling rink. Um, so this is a great skill to have. So here we're working from the CZ site in the middle of the head. And we're working on his ability to decrease the fast, ruminating, worrying thoughts, and what we call busy brain or high beta. And now, so we asked him first to go to busy brain, create those busy, ruminating brain waves. And now we're going to ask him to decrease those brain waves. So just to let his mind go into recovery, let his body go into recovery. We're going to have him bring that picture of the boat back by decreasing the amount of high, fast waves that he's producing. And this is very important for athletes to be aware of when they're in that state and how to get out of it. And that's a skill that um, can be used every day as well as uh, in competition. They really like the idea that they see on the screen a reflection of what's happening inside their body and mind. Um, what this tool does, the bio and neurofeedback training, is it makes more concrete what we have been trying to do kind of cognitively in talking to the athletes to develop those psychological skills. Um, I know that um, certainly the ability to, to stay in the calm focus state and get to that alpha state was something that we worked on with Alex Billadu and he became, he's quite a fast learner and he became very good very quickly at being able to shift states from that narrow focus to that nice alpha state. Um, working with uh, Jen Haya, one of the comments that, uh, that she made is that you know, she said, why didn't we have this earlier? And that it would be great for some of the, the junior athletes to, to start earlier with that training um, to help them develop, rather than develop those psychological skills later on once they get to the elite level, but have it as they're, um, as they're developing, along with developing those technical skills. And certainly we've been very pleased with the, uh, the results of um, a number of the freestyle athletes, uh, both Jen Heil winning the silver and Alex winning the gold. Um, been very pleased with the results after the, the effort they made in their biofeedback training and the, the improvement we saw on the focusing ability. Um, just, I mean, that narrow focus that you need right down the hill through those moguls, 
calming yourself to get that jump in and again to finish it off down the hill. Um, certainly, you can certainly tell that Alex has those nice narrow focusing skills when he needs it. He's able to turn it on. One of the athletes we had the opportunity to work with was Steve Omashaw. When we first assessed him, his ability to narrowly focus was very good. Uh, his ability to shift into recovery was less well developed. So that's something we worked on in the bioneurofeedback training that we did with him. And now his ability to shift into focus and recovery is, is quite strong. Uh, we do a, a fair bit of traveling from Halifax to Whistler uh, with this equipment and we found it uh, to be uh, incredibly durable and um, of, of really high quality. Uh, Penny especially has been because she's had some times when equipment hasn't worked for her. So uh, that's been a real plus working with the uh, Procomp Infinity.